Hello, welcome to Check Out Mo, episode four, four, well, as they say over here, one, two, three, four, episode four, and by the way, four is the most difficult word to say in Czech in terms of numbers, it's Ritsky, Tritsky, there we go, Tritsky, it's, why is four so difficult? One is easy, yeah, then two is easy, dva. Three is three, but four is tritsky. Why? Okay, anyway. See, and then goes back to being easy because five is piet, and six is sex, and seven is sedem, and eight is autumn. So then it goes back to being easy. It's just number four is a bit of a linguistic pain. So I didn't record this this morning. I'm recording it at night because I overslept, which meant that I took the tram this morning. And the tram was really cool. The one that I was on was one of the newer cars. And the seats are made of wood, which is really neat because they don't have uh, all the nice things that the BART seats have on them back in the San Francisco Bay Area for cleanable seats just spray them and wipe them down because they look like something from ikea they're like danish modern public transportation furnishing they're a white piece of birch that's bent to shape it's very pretty i'll try to take a picture without looking like a creep on the tram all right so i had to write things down from yesterday so that i wouldn't forget because i realized i forget things that happen oh and by the way because i went on the tram this morning and I went on the subway, the metro last night, I picked this little border that you see here, the border around, except that it's for London. So just forgive that because the theme is transportation. All right. So let's see. I learned how to say soy milk, which is very important because this morning I got a soy milk cappuccino. It is Sovalia Mileco, but I think I might have said that yesterday. Uh, I went to the Sex Machines Museum near uh, Staromietsk. Staromietsko Namiesti, which is the main area, and that's where the famous astrological tower is. So now I've seen the astrological tower twice, pretty much by accident. So if you come to Prague, put yourself at the astrological tower, there's a Starbucks, and just keep going down a little alley, and there it is. And it's only 240 crown to get in, it's like $8, and it's really fun. A lot of the stuff in there is new, so They're things that I'm used to seeing in San Francisco and in Oakland. I really went for the antiques, and I was not disappointed. In a few minutes, I'm going to put pictures together in a slideshow, like my other slideshow that went with episode three, and just really amazing sex furniture from the 1700s. People had Some people knew how to have fun, and other people had problems, and the people who had problems were the ones that invented all these horrible anti-masturbatory devices. It's like, what are you doing? Why are you torturing people? Anyway, so then uh, there are some art tents in Namiesti Miru. That's where my school is, the uh, Shpevashek school. And it was really nice because they have some live music and they have uh, some artists out there helping people do uh, painted t-shirts and things like that. So it's it's very normal. I'm used to seeing that kind of thing in San Francisco and Oakland. So it's it makes me feel very normal. It's just all in a different language and it's all in Prague. Let's see. It rained yesterday and I was really excited. And I don't think the locals understood why I was standing outside having my traditional half a cigarette before lunch, smiling, and I had to keep telling everybody, uh, I'm California. I'm, that means I'm from California, and it does not rain. The state is on fire right now, so it was beautiful rain. It rained again today, so I'm so glad that I brought my old Gore-Tex. I think I'm going to actually take that to school tomorrow because I don't want to get wet and cold. Wet is good. Wet and cold is bad. Okay, let's see. Before I went to the Sex Machines Museum, I stopped uh, in a little aside place. Uh, Prague is wonderful. The downtown, the uh, Staromietsko, the old town, has a lot of strange little overhangs and nooks and crannies that are just perfect for plotting intrigue, just like every really good European city. And so I stopped and had a beer and some pate. And there was a couple playing music. The gentleman was playing guitar and the lady was singing. And it was really wonderful. And they even played My uh, my Funny Valentine for me because I asked if they knew any Billie Holiday. 
Um, the pate that I had was delicious. It had nuts in it, which was a really pleasant surprise. And they gave me a hefty portion. Uh, let's see. There are women on the money. You'll see that in one of my pictures, in my slideshow pictures. I already had to break a bill, but uh, one of the bills that I got was a 2000 yeah, 2,000 crown note, which is about $80, I think. And it has a broad on it. Holy crap, right? And so does one of the other smaller notes. It has a broad on it. It's like, hashtag, women on the money, hello. Every other country that I've been to has women on money. United States, you're lagging. And not to complain about such a small thing when we're still fighting the abortion fight in most states. It's just a symptom of the whole disease of sexism, institutionalized sexism. But anyway, there's women on the money, and the money looks really cool. And like a lot of other places, it's in different colors and different sizes, depending on what the denomination is. So the more it's worth, the bigger the bill actually is. I'll try to show some over the next few days. Uh, let's see. There was some weird guy on the tram. It was really funny. He was gray-headed, and he was he kind of gave me the eyeballs. The, in passing, and I was just standing there, you know, okay, so I'm a black girl in Prague with purple lipstick, whatever. But he kind of gave me the eyeballs, and then I looked down, and he was wearing a little satchel. Uh, a lot of the guys here carry satchels. I guess you would call them man purses. I hate that term. Anyway, they carry them very unironically, very unapologetically, I, they got stuff to carry, and they carry it in their little satchels. Um, well, his was really nice, and I wish I knew how to say, I love your bag, and check, because it, it was about this big, so it was maybe a good uh, 25 centimeters, so probably about a good nine inches across in each direction, just a simple black bag, but it had the cover of Depeche Mode Violator on it. So it's like, quit staring at me in my all black and my purple lipstick and piercings, and you're still carrying a pound of bag with a 15-year-old Depression Road album on it. So now who's a weirdo? But anyway, I guess I'll, yeah, that was yesterday and then into today. My class is going really well. I finished my lesson plan for our teaching tomorrow. We're doing peer teaching, so we're not teaching real students yet. That starts on Friday, and I'm just going to be petrified Oh my God, we get to teach actual Czech people in English lesson. <laughs> Tomorrow's peer teaching, and it's going to be pretty fun. I'm taking an old Destiny's Child out, uh, song, uh, Bugaboo, because she sings so quickly. They use almost correct grammar, but they sing so quickly. So it's going to be a listening exercise to see uh, how people listen to sung words differently from spoken words in conversation or in a speech or in a lecture. The teacher said it was great. So I'm going to go with it and wish me all the luck. That's it, I think, until tomorrow night. Uh, I actually do have energy right now because we got let out an hour early because we finished our lesson planning. And then I went to the grocery store, which was fun. Well, first I had to go way up to the fifth floor. It's a big shopping center. And so I went all the way up to the top floor so that I could get a blanket because it's a little cold and a nice coffee mug. And then I went all the way down to the basement where the grocery store section is. And I actually managed to successfully order something from the cold cut counter, even though people were snickering at me because I was crouched down on the floor looking in my little phrase book here. Looking in my little phrase book to figure out how to say uh, chicken. So anyway, I figured out the root word for chicken, just kirche, kure, kure, there we go, kure. I figured out the root word for chicken and then looked along the cold cut case until I found something that looked like that and it said chickenish sausage. So it's kind of like a pressed chicken, like a turkey cold cut, but chicken. And I figured out how to say uh, 200 because they measure everything by... Mil uh, by milligram, not milligrams. Yes, milligrams. So the base unit for things is a thousand milligrams of food. So whereas you know in the states you would order it by the ounce with a pound, a quarter pound. So a hundred milligrams. So it's like uh, dva stall, dva stall. And let me look at my receipt. His see, I have a receipt. 
right here from the Tesco. So it's dva sto, and it's something strange like curetze debrecinka. There we go, debrecinka. That apparently means pressed meat or sausage. I think it's more of a pressed meat. I'll check next time I go. But anyway, those are my adventures for the day. It was public transportation, yay, which was so much fun. I felt so awesome being on the subway because I got to train surf, which if you know me, that's a big deal. Uh, that's where you just stand on the subway and you don't hold on to anything and you kind of surf while the subway does its thing and don't, don't fall down. So I got to train surf in another big city, which is amazing. All right, well, it's been 10 minutes and 44 seconds, so I am going to stop my rambling and sign off so I can eat my really good food and drink a really great elder elderflower flavored strongbow, which is two of my favorite subjects all mushed together, anything that tastes like flowers. And hopefully I'll do something amazing this Saturday that I can put on here for you all. All right. Uh, what, what do we say? Nash, uh, Nashle, now.